lost my voice, so you're gonna have to bear with me. But the chocolate cocoa bars, you're gonna need cashews, coconut oil, unsweetened cocoa powder, a little bit of unsweetened shredded coconut, and then I use this um, sugar free maple nature natural sugar thing, and then cinnamon. So you're gonna measure out one cup of cashews, and then you wanna blend them and kind of pulse them up depending on how chunky you want your bars to be. Pour it into a bowl and then add half a cup of cocoa powder and then one and a half cups of shredded coconut and then you're going to mix all of that together. And then with your melted coconut oil you want to add about half a cup of that into the mixture and then mix it all together until it kind of gets sort of sticky. And then this is where you can add stevia, cinnamon, any other toppings and then you want to pour it into a pan and firmly press it in so that the bars will hold together. And then place it into the freezer for about 20 minutes and you want to store your bars in the refrigerator and you'll have them all week. They're so delicious. And that's all you have to do to make these super easy chocolate coconut bars, the Choco Coco Nut. That was clever. They're super simple, they're really easy, they're high in protein and healthy fat so they're going to be a great after school snack because there's not a lot of sugar in them so you're not going to have that dip in your blood sugar after school. You want something that's going to give you energy so you can think, so you can do your homework or work on whatever you need to do. So these are perfect, they're super simple and you have a ton of them so you can have them throughout the week. And also you can add in like whatever else you want. Like we added cinnamon and like stevia if you want them sweeter. And they're super yummy too. Cheers. This chocolate dipped strawberry chia seed pudding is out of this world and the ingredients are so simple and it's super easy to make. So you want to begin by taking 1 4th cup of chia seeds. I'm using black chia seeds, you don't have to use a specific type or anything like that. And then you want to take 1 cup of almond milk. Oh my gosh, this specific almond milk from Trader Joe's is so good with it. And then add a little bit of stevia. And then you want to do about a fourth of a cup of chopped strawberries and then 1 teaspoon of your cocoa powder and I'm using unsweetened cocoa powder and then mix it up place it in the fridge so that it can kind of um, get that gelatinous feel to it and thicken up and then you top it off with whatever you want to top it with and it's amazing okay guys so that's how you're gonna make your chocolate dipped strawberry chia seed pudding this is perfect for after school because the chia seed is gonna provide you protein and it's also a healthy fat so it's gonna be really helpful for just brain food and it's not gonna like spike your blood sugar or anything like that because of the healthy fats so this is gonna be really filling because there's a lot of fiber in it it's gonna keep you full it's gonna give you energy it's gonna help you focus this is the perfect after school snack you guys are really gonna love this it's so good now we're gonna make my favorite recipe of all which is the sweet potato bites they're so good so you want to preheat your oven to about 350 degrees and cut up your sweet potato. You can use as many sweet potatoes as you want. All you have to do is cut it up and then grab your coconut oil and use your fingers. This is where we get down and dirty <laughs> and you want to massage the coconut oil into the sweet potato so that it kind of absorbs some of it and then I'm adding stevia and cinnamon to sweeten it and give it a little bit of like a spicy sweet feel. Not spicy but I don't know. You know flavorful spice cinnamon. Are you with me? <laughs> okay. And then place it into the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes or until golden brown. Bites. These are super good. Sweet potatoes are like one of my favorite things and they're perfect because they're complex carb. So this is a really good idea to eat after school. So it just like fuels your brain and gives you energy. They're so tasty. They're so yummy and they almost are like a treat because they're sweet from the stevia and they're sweet potatoes. So they're really, really good and I absolutely love them. Peanut butter and jelly time. So what you're going to need for the shake is some almond milk and then peanuts, some vanilla extract, a banana, some strawberry preserves. And then I'm using PB2, but you can also use peanut butter. So you want to measure out one and a half cups of almond milk and then just a splash of vanilla for flavor. And then I'm doing two tablespoons of the PB2, but you can do like one tablespoon of peanut butter. And then I'm also doing two tablespoons of the peanuts and then one tablespoon of the organic strawberry preserves and then one banana and then you blend it up and it's amazingly good. Wow, it's so yummy. So that's how you make the super easy twist on the old classic of peanut butter and jelly, the PB&J smoothie. It's so good, it's so easy to make after school on a Monday. When you just want something really quick, it's really easy to whip up and just throw it into a blender and it's so good. It satisfies that like salty and sweet craving. It's the perfect blend of both of them and it's super yummy. This pudding is so decadent yet so simple to make. So you're gonna need some coconut oil, 
my natural sugar-free maple syrup, and then an avocado, some vanilla, and then unsweetened cocoa powder, and that's all you're going to need. It's so incredibly easy. So the riper your avocado is, the better. So you want to take one whole avocado and place it into your blender, and then you want about two tablespoons of your maple syrup kind of stuff, and then I'm going to use a teaspoon of vanilla, a little bit of stevia, and then one teaspoon of coconut oil. And you can totally use honey instead of the syrup that I'm using and blend it up and you're done. It's that easy and it's so, so healthy and so good for you and delicious. Okay guys, that's how you make the super healthy chocolate pudding. It's so rich, it's so creamy, and it's so good for you because it's gonna help you so much with your studying because it's avocado and that's such a brain food. It's a healthy fat. So this is also not gonna spike your blood sugar, which is really what we wanna focus on after school because you're gonna be tired, but you want it to carry you through dinner. You want something that's gonna keep you full. And so with the avocado in here, it's so gonna be brain food and just filling and so, so tasty. It's definitely gonna be satisfying for your sweet tooth. This is great as a dessert too, not just for after school. So it's so good, it's super thick, which is like, Mm. The reason that we want consistent blood sugar levels is because if you are going to have something when you get home from school with a lot of sugar in it, then it's going to skyrocket your blood sugar and then it's going to dip down and your energy is going to be low. So you're not going to have the focus and the energy that you want to complete and do your homework. So it's really important that we keep stable blood sugar levels. It's going to help you focus when you're studying and stuff like that. So these are all snacks geared towards actually helping you study and think. So they're not just like healthy snacks. but the health aspect of it makes it so that you can actually be better at doing your homework and studying. Um, and that was the goal and the focus of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. And if you make any of these recipes, don't forget to hashtag Cambria's Kitchen on Twitter and Instagram so that I can see them and retweet you guys and everything like that. And definitely leave a comment below telling me what you're gonna try from this video. I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comments. So make sure that you leave a comment. Tell me what more health videos or videos in general that you want me to do. A lot of you guys like these recipe videos, so that's why I'm doing them for you. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm Martha Stewart, everyone. <laughs> oh no, did you film that? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, bye. Okay, this is funny. Alright, ready? Is it good? Super good, yeah. Is my drink good? <laughs> <laughs> yep, your drink's great. You want some? Okay. The strawberry chia pudding. Oh my gosh. You're gonna love it. Okay, I'm really excited. Okay. You guys are really gonna love this. It's super good. You guys are ready? Ready, ready? Oh. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. What's that? It's so good. You want some? You want some? No. Okay, Mo. Okay, this isn't funny. <laughs> it literally doesn't work. It is funny. Okay.